Hey, welcome back. There's a place on Earth where the laws of physics get a little lazy. Where gravity, that fundamental force that keeps your coffee in your cup and your feet on the ground, decides to take a breather. Step on a scale in this remote corner of northern Canada, and you'll weigh less than you did five minutes ago. Not because you suddenly shed a few pounds, but because reality itself is just a tiny bit off. Welcome to Hudson Bay, Canada's very own gravity hole. And no, I'm not talking about some new age crystal healing nonsense or a TikTok conspiracy theory, though trust me this place gives flat earth believers enough material to keep them busy for years. This is actual, measurable, peer-reviewed science that basically proves our planet is way weirder than we thought. Hudson Bay has measurably weaker gravity, about 50 parts per million less than the global average. That's roughly 0.005% less gravity than everywhere else on Earth. To put that in perspective, if you weigh 200 pounds normally, you'd weigh about 199.98 pounds in Hudson Bay. It's not exactly the diet miracle you've been waiting for, but it's real enough that scientists have been losing sleep over it since the 1960s. The story starts back when geophysicists were first mapping Earth's gravity field and stumbled across something that made them do a double take. The gravity in the Hudson Bay region and its environs is lower than globally, a phenomenon first noticed in the 1960s while mapping Earth's worldwide gravity fields. It was like finding a dent in reality itself. For 40 years, 40 years, scientists couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. They had theories, sure, but no way to prove them. Then along came two satellites that changed everything. Meet GRACE, the Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment. These two satellites were flying in formation 500 kilometers above Earth's surface, 220 kilometers apart. They exchanged microwave signals that allowed them to detect even an infinitesimal change in the two satellites' positions, down to a micron, which is a millionth of a meter. These things were so precise, they could measure changes smaller than the width of a human hair, across distances that would make your GPS jealous. When Grace started beaming down data in 2002, it was like someone finally turned on the lights in a dark room. Scientists could suddenly see what was really happening beneath Hudson Bay, and it told a story that went back 20,000 years. Here's where it gets wild. Think about North America during the last ice age. We're talking about a sheet of ice called the Laurentide Ice Sheet that was so massive it makes today's polar ice caps look like ice cubes in comparison. This ice sheet was almost 2 miles thick in most sections, and in two areas of Hudson Bay, it was 2.3 miles thick. Imagine pressing your thumb into a piece of soft bread. That's essentially what happened to the Earth's crust under Hudson Bay, except instead of your thumb, it was billions of tons of ice pressing down for thousands of years. The ice was so heavy it literally squashed the ground beneath it pushing it down and forcing rock and sediment to flow outward like Play-Doh. Then about 10,000 years ago, the climate changed and the ice started melting. When you take your thumb off that bread, it bounces back, right? Well the Earth's doing the same thing, it's just taking its sweet time about it. It's rebounding by about 12 mm per year so it'll be another 300,000 years before it returns to its original position. Geological processes don't exactly operate on human timescales. But here's where it gets really interesting. When Grace scientists crunched the numbers, they discovered something unexpected. The ice sheet theory explains only 25 to 45 percent of the gravitational variation over Hudson Bay and its environs. That meant there was still more than half of this gravity weirdness that couldn't be explained by Ice Age leftovers. So what's causing the rest? Well it turns out our planet is even more active than we thought. Deep beneath Hudson Bay, the Earth's mantle, that layer of molten rock between the crust and the core, is doing something fascinating. The intense heat and continuous swirling, shifting, rising and falling of magma produce convection currents which drag the Earth's continental plates downward, lowering the local mass and gravity. Think of it like a lava lamp, except instead of colorful wax, you've got molten rock, the temperature of a pizza oven circulating in slow motion currents that take millions of years to complete one cycle. These convection currents are literally pulling the land downward in some places and pushing it up in others creating variations in gravity that we can measure from space. If you've been following along and thinking this sounds like something Joe Rogan would get excited about, you're not wrong. This is exactly the kind of mind-bending science that makes you question everything you thought you knew about reality. Though let's be clear, unlike some of the wilder theories that make it onto podcasts these days, this gravity anomaly has been thoroughly investigated by teams of actual scientists using satellite data and peer-reviewed research. 
Speaking of podcasts, while Terrence Howard was on Joe Rogan recently claiming he killed gravity with his unconventional theories about physics, the real scientists studying Hudson Bay have been quietly unraveling actual gravitational mysteries using cutting-edge technology and rigorous research. The difference between genuine scientific discovery and flashy claims couldn't be more stark. If you're enjoying this deep dive into one of Earth's strangest mysteries, hit that like button and subscribe, we're just getting started on the weird science hiding in plain sight all around us. The implications of Hudson Bay's gravity hole go way beyond just being a cool party trick. Data acquired from Grace have been quite useful for scientists analyzing climate change, the rise in sea level and melting of glaciers. Understanding how mass moves around our planet helps us track everything from groundwater depletion to ice sheet collapse, to how the continents themselves are shifting over geological time. And here's something that'll blow your mind. Hudson Bay isn't unique. Earth is covered in gravity anomalies, some positive, some negative. There's one in the Indian Ocean that's so strong it creates a massive dip in sea level. Mount Chimborazo in Ecuador sits at a spot where you'd weigh less than you would on Mount Everest, even though Chimborazo is shorter, because Earth bulges at the equator. But Hudson Bay remains special because it's such a perfect example of how our planet's past and present are constantly interacting in ways we're only just beginning to understand. Every time you look at this place you're seeing the ghost of an ice age that ended 10,000 years ago, still influencing the very fabric of space-time around it. Scientists are still studying Hudson Bay with newer satellites, Grace's successor, Grace Foe, launched in 2018, and continues monitoring these gravitational mysteries with even better precision. They're not just satisfied with understanding what's happening, they want to predict how it'll change over the next thousand, ten thousand, even hundred thousand years. Before you start planning your weight loss vacation to northern Canada though, remember that we're talking about changes measured in thousandths of a percent. You'd need scientific instruments to detect the difference. But the fact that it exists at all, that there's a place on Earth where the fundamental force holding everything together is measurably different, that's what makes Hudson Bay so fascinating. It's a reminder that our planet isn't the stable, predictable rock we sometimes imagine it to be. It's a dynamic, constantly changing system where ice ages from 20,000 years ago are still influencing gravity today, where molten rock miles beneath our feet is tugging at the land above, and where satellites can detect changes smaller than a hair's width to unravel mysteries that have puzzled scientists for decades. In 2002, satellite measurements revealed that both theories are correct. Hudson Bay's gravitational anomaly is caused by a combination of mantle convection currents and the legacy of the Laurentide ice sheet. So, even after the crust has fully rebounded, this part of the world will still have slightly lower gravity than average. In a world where we've mapped every corner of the surface and think we know everything there is to know about our home planet, places like Hudson Bay remind us that Earth still has secrets, and some of those secrets are literally hiding in plain sight, waiting for the right technology and the right questions to reveal themselves. The next time someone tells you that science has figured everything out just mention Hudson Bay, tell them about the place where gravity takes a coffee break, where the ghosts of ancient ice sheets still haunt the laws of physics, and where some of the most sophisticated technology humans have ever created is needed just to understand why things fall down a tiny bit slower than they should. It's not just a gravity hole. It's a window into the deep time processes that shaped our world and continue to shape it today. And that's pretty damn cool if you ask me.